amigos, hola amigas. Welcome, bienvenido, Christ, y salam. Welcome to the channel, y'all. Cheshney Action Mash. We are on a scavenger hunt because we were just on our way back from uh, taking Gilligan to the vet for a checkup. And we were driving back down the street down here and we saw something at the side of the road. Now, I didn't really notice very quickly as we were driving, but I think it's a hot point and I'm positive that it was a integrated. So what we're gonna do, this is very unexpected, is we're gonna load it into the back of the car and I'm gonna take it down to South, to Brighton, to Phil of Service Slimline, video description below for the links. And um, we will see what, well, you know, is it worth it? Is it bin it? Is it use it? Is it sell it? So that's what we're gonna do now. So let's go pick it up first. Okay, so here it is at the side of the road. It is definitely integrated and it is a hot point. So, ah, it's a washer dryer. Right, so let's get it loaded in the back. Okay, so I just tipped it forward and emptied any uh, excess water out of it. Let's twist the drum. No, sounds absolutely fine to me. Right, let's get it loaded into the car. Okay, we've got it loaded into the back of the car. A little bit of muck on there, but that's from where it was out there. But the inside of it looks pretty clean from what I can see. You can't see much. But, uh, yeah, let's have a look at it in the daylight. Right, okay, we are in Brighton. Hello. Hello. It's been a few days since the last video. We had a, there was another machine in there, the Phillips. Anyway, so we pulled this one forward. We're now in Brighton with Phil. And this is the trash find hot point that I saw. So first impressions, Phil. Yes, looks all right. Because I haven't seen it during yeah. the daylight. Shocks Apart look okay. Yeah, they do. Apart from not having a belt, I think no. might, we've got half a chance here. Half a chance, hopefully. Yeah. Is that a um, metal tub? Uh, stainless steel, yeah. Stainless steel tub. So this that's is, pretty good. This is based on a machine from the early, well, well, 2000, in fact. So do all washer dryers have to have a no. steel tub? No. It's just this one because it's a use up of parts from a previous range. Uh, that's okay. So how old do you think this machine was? Because I thought it was newer than what I thought. 2007 on the motor and it had 2007 on the board. So it's around 2007, 8. Tub and that's one of the earliest ones of these, huh. I believe. Uh, right, okay, so we're going to get it out and um, get it into the kitchen. Bye. I think the whole thing has gone wonky inside, so that whole front needs taking off and sorting out. But that might be the only thing wrong with it. Bearings are good, dampers are good. They've probably pushed it in and then thought, oh, we can't use it now in the bin, because look. No, they've spilled something all over it, look. Yeah, there's fabric softener. Yeah, so that's what's happened. It's, it's leaked fabric softener yeah. all over it, so it's just all gunked up. Yeah, it should. By yeah. the time you take it apart and sort it all out. Yeah, it's all fabric softener. Something yeah. has dripped on it and just leaked into yeah. it. I don't think they're, they're all push... sticky. Yeah, that isn't meant to be out that far, so this whole thing just needs sorting out. Because that, um, that say, the that's off. not meant to be, that's meant to come out. Oh, there it is. That's not sitting for, right for a start, but it's mint. Get that back in properly, and then you've got half a chance of getting this back together. Yeah, it's not sitting right. Mm. I'll have a look at it later on. No, I think it is fine. I know, no. it's better now. Yeah. Everything's just covered. I wonder if it was brand new and they've just never been used. It's absolutely everything is covered in fabric softener. No, that's working fine now. But 
all these buttons are all gunky. <clears throat> I'm do later on when we're back. Yeah. I honestly think it's just going to have to be sort of like clean all the front fascia buttons yeah, and yeah, everything, yeah. wash all that, to get all the you crank off. You can still off. get front fascia. These are all, uh, well, I forget what they're called, potentiometers. So you can get those easy. But I don't think you need it. I think it just needs cleaning. Yeah, you're right, because you can see it comes out and tries yeah. to go a bit more. It's all gunky. Yeah. Right, okay, cool. Right, we'll leave that for now. We've got things to do, but that looks like it's a success as long as it works. Yeah. But it's definitely all gunked up. One thing I will do is get the hose in my back. Because they're doing my fucking head. Oh, that needs screwing in as well. Yeah, I think there's a couple of screws missing off the lid. Well, all of them, apart from about three. <laughs> oh my Christ! What? Oh, I'm going to put that back on. Actually, because that is blocked up. No, that's a lot. Look, shit in there, shit in there. Uh, well, is it good to, it's good then to take it off, isn't it? Well, I'll just do it on for the video. No, you are. I'm filming. Oh, right. I thought you were doing something else with it. No. Pop this one off. <coughs> that's the first one of them I've ever seen that's actually blocked up. They mm. don't, don't normally block up. That one's the same. It's got stuff in it. Gunk and fizzings. Yeah, that I need. Ah! Right, you can sit there. Yeah, look, it's blocked up. You see now. Clear those out a bit. So, how are you doing? Uh, You're doing all stuff. We've got another pose. Okay, right, okay, so we have pulled it out. So we have got, this is sort of like a good proper look at it now. Yeah. And we noticed that the buttons are a bit sticky on it, but as you would have seen in the other video I did, it was, it's absolutely covered in fabric softener and yeah. stuff it was it was manky fabric softener in it though because i don't think that would do no no no, no 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 there was something that had dribbled all yeah, over yeah. it and it's and it felt and smelled like fabric softener i don't know what it is yeah um it does have the protective door yeah. uh phil's got a bell yeah i found a belt for it got a belt. amazingly got a belt Tiny so belt. we just don't even know yet if it's going to work so um, what we what the thing is the bearings are okay yeah the seal's okay. Yeah. But what got me was they've chopped the plug off, but they've also... Somebody had that? Uh, we were up to lid. the part with the lid, the plug. Why is the plug off? So, yeah, what gets me is the lid's been taken off, yeah. but they've also removed the plug. So yeah. what is the issue? Well, possibly when they left it out the front, they took the plug off saying, well, it's your problem. Don't blame me. I can't get sued. Yeah. You know, like they're doing charity shops. Yeah, it could be. Oh, so a good point. Yeah, who knows? Right, yeah. so what's the first plan of action with so it, what Mr. I'm Smith? Do, I want to take the lid off anyway. I've yeah. got some mains filters. I'm not going to replace the plug, I'm going to replace the whole lot. What, the whole easier. cable? Yeah, yeah. Because there's only a couple of screws. Yeah. Get rid of that. Seems I've taken the lid off anyway. It's but it's good that it's got the brackets on it. Well, I've, hopefully I've got some hinges that will fit in there. Mm. If not, I can order some. They're not that expensive. Yeah. So, but I didn't realise how old this was. 2007. Yeah, I, 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 it doesn't seem to look that old to me. Well, it's in such good condition. You don't see many of these around now. Mm. Last one I got, the bearings were gone. It was rusty. This has been so well kept. Yeah, because this is all. This was a bit what you call, but we sorted that out. Yeah, now, don't so sort that because there's a crack in that. I noticed. All right, okay. But other than that, I mean, compared to the ranges that followed, be a BHWD, if anyone know, uh, knows what I'm about, mm. completely new design. Yeah, but right. Let's get the this top is off. So much more better belt. <laughs> Put the extractive light on. Oh yeah. No, one on the end. Top far right. Far right. That's 
it's much better with this light. Mm. It's a shame those aren't working. It would be, it would be yeah. perfect brightness. David wanted brighter. Oh, God, yeah, exactly, because he's can't see much as it is. Yeah. I'm being screw bitch yet again. again. So this will be the moment of truth to discover what's wrong with it potentially. Uh -oh. Fires and fizzings. Oh. So that looks Ew. a bit rough. It potentially may not work, but they're parts you can get still. Is that mould? Uh, corrosion. Oh no, it is actually mould. Yeah. Probably because it could have been just left in someone's garage then. Yeah, it could have been. I mean, that's obviously damp. But yeah. that could have just happened anyway. Yeah. Can't actually do anything with that, that's bad. But yeah, on the face of it... So far, so good, apart from that. Apart, well, yeah, but that could just be wipe it off and that, that's it. Exactly. So, like I say, on the face of it, we could be onto a winner here. So, the so mains plug do... goes into. Oh, that's a scratch on the dish, which is great. So, screwdriver. That one. Unscrew you. Hopefully, I've got one that fits. I'm fairly sure I would do. Yeah. You do have an amount of. Colossal amount of scrap bits. Yeah. I'll just unplug it first. So there's no other little tags on it now. So that, oh, it's one of those. Ah! Oh. What? That's burnt. I, what, yeah, there's burnt in there, so I wonder if this is blown, and that's why they've got rid of it, and there's bits falling out of it. Ah, uh, that's not good, is it? So, I wouldn't be surprised if we replace this, it would probably work. Because hmm. it was probably tripping the electrics. Probably. That's why they cut the plug off it. Oh. Is that knackered in there? Without, why is it orange? It should, because it's burnt. So that's blown in there, probably. That's right. what's caused it to do that. And I can't see anything visual, but let's just see what I've got. Spider-Man! Okay, let's test it. Ready? Yeah. It's on. Lights, good. Lights up. Just do that. So it's trying to dry. Oh, it's gone off now, that's good. Door lock, ah, two fault. That's a fault code. So what's delay start and superwash? Investigation is required. Mm. See if it'll reset a sec. No. Is it because the door's shut? Because the no, door's no, open? No, 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 that's a fault code, definitely. Hmm, let's have a look, find out. Get back in a minute. Okay, so the issue could be board related. So that's off. Yeah. So straight away it goes into a fault curve. So yeah, more than likely that's a board issue. It's 
not resetting or anything. It's just doing that, isn't it? Yeah. <coughs> Yeah, that's it. I think that's a board issue. I think that's scrap. Oh, dun, 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 Unless dun, I can dun, find a cheap board. Dun. Let's have a look. If I can find a cheap board, we're laughing. But is it worth it though because of well, the damage with the heater? So we rust on the top well, of it? Well, we don't know yet. Hang on. Uh, BWD. Right, let's have a look and see how much board. Oh, hang on. What's this? IWC, that's not it. Yeah, that is not it. That's a new SIP. In the SIP one model, that is WMF, so no, I need to, won't be it either. But there is a possibility. No, there isn't. Ignore me. So no, I don't have a board. Oh. Because I know you can put other boards in if they look very similar. But <coughs> going by the state of this, none of them are the same. No. Yeah, it doesn't look like I've got one. Hmm. So that's a no, that's a no. Okay, back in a minute. Okay, guys, so it's no winner, no chicken dinner for this one. Uh, it's 30 quid for the board, but really, is it worth it? It's from 2007. Hmm. You could end up on a new board and get working, and then the bloody um bearings going on it in four months' time. Hmm. So it was just a bit of fun that I found at the side of the road. But unfortunately, it's just going to be salvaged for parts. And this is the end of the video. So thanks very much for watching. It was a lot of fun finding it and bringing it down to see if Phil could do anything with it. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you. Thanks, Phil. Bye. Bye. Bye.